Okay, call me old fashioned, but I was brought up to respect my parents. I was never allowed to swear in front of them, and I was always disciplined well. And it's unfortunate we can't say that about everyone. Anytime I see people swearing in front of the parents, and also when people act like the parents are the mates. Call me a boomer, but I just feel like in today's culture, the next generation, there's no respect. I'm best just showing you the clips. See if you can see what's wrong with this situation. Roll the footage. I'm 23 years old and I am an OnlyFans model and I just recently started Twitch. You brought a wing woman. I did, yes. All right, let's get this wing woman in here. Mom, let's get in here. <laughs> Okay, so I do OnlyFans. Would you be down to have a three? Can I get close? Yeah. Okay. Um, it looks like you have small feet, which um, she has a toenail fetish, apparently. Oh, you know what they say the about thing small she's feet? Said so yeah, far. huge penis. I like the element of surprise mm. of like seeing what they're packing. They look huge. Not gonna lie. I no, thought caveman closer. feet when I first saw them. Sorry, guys. Do you want to do a sniff test on them? Thank God I oh put God. cologne on my feet. I never do that. Can I lick it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You mentioned missionary. Missionary yeah, yeah, yeah. is the actually I... my favorite position. Me too. I wonder if he's nervous to get a bone. The one on the end, Loki, kind of looks like he does. I look like I have a. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's packing. Yeah, you. Come check. Come here. Come here, David. Wow. All right, I'm going to grab it. You have my consent, David. You know what? I can't do this. I'll do it. I can't do this. Can I? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa, nice. <laughs> okay, it wasn't hard. If it already looks like that when it's soft, no. that's promising. Yeah. I do love Drake. He's like my dream. <gasps> If you're watching this. <laughs> okay, contestant number two has really fucking nice abs. Thank you. You should probably see them up close. I should, shouldn't I? Yes. Do I have permission to lick? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't resist. <laughs> mm. Shove it through. <laughs> can put apple in my mouth. Spin me like a chicken. I don't care. I'm down to like explore shit. Can I say what mine is? Yeah, what's, what is yours? I like cream pie. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Like, we can like... <laughs> Writing that down. That's good. Mom, do you know what the cream pie is? No, and let's keep it <laughs> at Mom! that. Mom! Mom! <laughs> what do you think of that? It's how I was made. Am I just getting old or does that feel wrong? So as you see in this video features a popular female adult actress and OnlyFans star called Sky Bree. And you simps out there better not go and subscribe to her. I've taught you better than that. And they're doing like a blind date type video with her mum there to advise her on who she should date. Now I'm just kind of flabbergasted when I see stuff like this, but I think it's a lot more common than we realise. Some of the stuff she's saying in this video in front of her mum is crazy. It's wild. There was so much in this original video, which I haven't even included. She goes up and grabs the guy's package in front of her mum. Now, I'm sure he's having a great time, but I could never imagine doing that in front of me mum or dad to a woman. It's just kind of crossing that line of respect. Like, you should have a certain degree of modesty. Even if you're an adult actress, talking about it with your parents, I look at it and think, where is the mother-daughter dynamic there? It's just like the two mates. And do you know what that's a byproduct of? The father not being there. We all know straight away when a woman starts selling a body online, she's usually got daddy problems. And lo and behold, when did your parents get divorced? Um, my parents got divorced when I was six, remarried when I was twelve, um, mm -hmm. and then divorced again when I was eighteen. So every six. Oh, years. Oh, you went through two divorces. Yes. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Did that? That must have affected the way that you oh, kind of like. For sure. Yeah. 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 My what dad was... is a. He's the type that. Um, He's a pathological liar. Will lie about anything, everything, random stuff. Um, and he also is a cheater. Like he cheated on my mom so much. Like he, I think it's my mom explains it to me as like an ego thing almost. Like he's insecure, so he needs to know that he's like loved or like people still find him attractive or something. So there you go. She's got no respect for the dad. And usually in situations like these where you've got a split household, discipline is a lot harder to enforce when the dad isn't right there in the house. And you can even just tell by the mum and Sky standing there. They're like mates. That's not how it should be. You're not meant to be best mates with your kids. Your kids are meant to respect you. Your kids are meant to fear you to a certain extent. Now, 
sure when I was watching this video, some parts were actually quite funny, mainly because of the fellas' reactions and what they were saying. But even still, as I was watching it, I just felt like this deep inner sadness that this poor girl has got to the point where she can talk openly about cream pies in front of her mum and how many times she's got f***ed recently. Am I getting old boys or do we all feel this way? Now, not even talking about the career choices that this girl's made, but if it was my daughter in this video and I found this, I would be fuming. Both at me daughter, but also at the mother. Like, what are you doing? And if the mother struggles to discipline the daughter, which, let's face it, of course she does, there's no respect there, then the mother should opt out completely, disengage and not even take part in something like this? Is this just some harmless fun between a mother and daughter? Are you able to speak this openly with your parents? Because I'm not, and I can never imagine ever being like that, nor do I want to be like that. I take pride in having that boundary and modesty, despite me being a lad. Comment down below what you guys think. I'm actually really interested in your comments. Let's try and hit 100 likes on this video, and for new viewers, we upload seven days a week on this channel, so make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow.